In this video I want to explain to you what the difference is between a child species and a nested species. Because they look very similar they are sometimes confused and I want to give some examples of how you can use a child species and a nested species and this will also explain to you what the difference is between the two. We started to build a tutorial model called tutorial cars. So there are two species that I want to define in my model. The first one is the species petrol car. Now I want to make a second species called electric car. And now we have created two types of species. There is one thing in gamma that is very helpful to declare the same type of species because both the petrol car and the electric car are cars. They will have a lot of the same features and we don't want to declare all these features in both the petrol car and the electric car. That is why we are going to declare a parent species called car. Now to identify the petrol car and the electric car as child species of the species car, we put parent car right after the petrol car name. And we do the same thing for the electric car. So what I've created now is two species that are specialization species of the species car. So all the properties of a car I can state inside the species car and the petrol car and electric car will inherit all the characteristics. So for instance, all the cars will have headlights and they will have brake lights. So by defining the headlights and the brake lights booleans inside car, petrol car and electric car will also automatically inherit these attributes. Now, the child species don't only inherit attributes, they also inherit reflexes. So if we would, for instance, define a reflex inside the car species, this reflex will also be inherited by petrol car and electric car. So this is why you would define a child species or a parent species. Um, but now I want to take a look to the nested species, which is a little bit more uncommon but it can be useful in some specific cases. If you would want to define a nested species, you have to define it inside another species. So for instance, we can define an internal combustion engine inside the petrol car. So now that we created a species inside a species, this becomes a nested species. And we call the petrol car the host species of the internal combustion engine. If we now define an attribute inside a petrol car, for instance, a float number called tank capacity, the nested species will inherit this float number tank capacity as well. However, if we create a reflex inside the petrol car, for instance, refill tank, this reflex will not be inherited by our nested species. So this is one difference between the child species and the nested species. But the most important difference between the child species and the nested species is that a nested species only exists inside its host. So the internal combustion engine only exists inside the petrol car. Okay, so we could also define, for instance, a nested species inside the electric car called lithium ion battery, for instance and it would look like this. Okay, so to clarify this a little bit more, I want to show you a little diagram that I made. So we created a model called tutorial cars and we have defined a car species that is the parent species of a petrol car species and an electric car species. So we call the petrol car a child species of car and it inherits attributes and reflexes from car. We call the car species a parent species of petrol car and electric car. And we create a nested species internal combustion engine inside the petrol car and a lithium ion battery inside the electric car. We call those nested species and they inherit only attributes. The electric car is called the host species of the lithium ion battery. So this is actually the whole structure of nested species and child species. I hope this clarifies the concept of child species and nested species a bit more for you. 
If you want to know more about the global definition or about defining experiments, please click on one of the videos below. Thank you.